Hello Angels and Biscuits, CSDL here, and today's video is going to be my March 2021 TBR. First up on the list, and also my chonkiest book, is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. So this is a classic I've been meaning to read for a long time, and a booktuber that I follow is doing a buddy read on a Discord server for this book. So I was like, yes, this is the perfect opportunity. I will leave her channel's, uh, the, the video with the Discord link. Uh, her channel is Megan's Reading Revelations, if you want to check it out. But I will leave the link to the video with the Discord link if you also want to join in on the buddy read. Um, but yeah, so this is your classic tale of revenge and it's been parodied a lot in television, it's had movies made. It's probably a very well-known story, but I, I mean, I, I know the story, but I have never actually read the story, so we are going to change that. The Buddy Read, I think, is splitting this up into two months, half in March, half in April. Uh, but yeah, so this will also be on my April uh, TBR. If you want a little bit of a description of the story, it follows Edmond Dante, self-styled Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, he is the victim of mis a miscarriage of justice. So Dante is uh, in inspired by his desire for retribution and empowered by a stroke of providence. In his campaign of vengeance, he becomes an anonymous agent of fate. The sensational narrative of intrigue, betrayal, escape, and triumphant revenge moves at a cracking pace. Dumas's novel presents a powerful conflict between good and evil embodied in an epic saga of rich diversity that is complicated by the hero's ultimate discomfort with the hubristic implication of his own actions. So yeah, just a little bit about The Count of Monte Cristo. Like I said, I'm sure most of you have seen this parodied on television and cartoons or movies. It, there's even um, a movie, The Count of Monte Cristo. So yeah, uh, I'm very familiar with the story and how the story goes, but like I said, never read the original thing itself. So we are going to fix that. Also, it's very chonky. Count of Monte Cristo. Next up is The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. This is a Descendants novel. This is the series that the Disney's Descendants films were based on. I believe the movies take a little bit of a different turn, but I don't, I guess I haven't actually read the novels yet, so we will see. Um, but the Descendants novels follow the children of Disney villains. So the, the initial idea of this series is 20 years ago, all the evil villains were banished from the kingdom of Auradon to the Isle of the Lost, a dark, dreary place protected by a force field that makes it impossible for them to leave. Stripped of their magical powers, the villains now live in total isolation, forgotten by the world. But hidden in the Forbidden Fortress is a dragon's eye, the key to true darkness and the villain's only hope of escape. Only the cleverest, evilest, nastiest villain can find it. Who will it be? In the quest for the dragon's eye, these kids are proof that just because you come from an evil family tree, being good isn't so bad. So they were banished, I believe, by Belle and Beast, who are in are rulers, king and queen of Auradon. Their son, Ben, is going to take over rulership, leadership, kingship. Um, but the I believe this book in particular, uh, they don't get to Auradon just yet. I think this is a solely on the Isle book and we follow the children of Maleficent, uh, the evil queen, Jafar, and Cruella de Vil. So uh, on the back here, it has a little bit of a description of the kids, the main kids that we will be following through the book. So I will read you what that says. So we have Mel, Maleficent's daughter, 
is the most talented student at Dragon Hall, best known for her evil schemes. And when she hears about the search for the dragon's eye, Mal thinks this could be her chance to prove herself the cruelest of them all. Then we have Evie, daughter of the evil queen. Having been castle schooled for years, evil queenies, evil queenie, wow, okay, fantastic beast moment, not that queenie, ugh, okay. Having been castle schooled for years, evil queen's daughter Evie doesn't know the ins and outs of Dragon Hall, but she's a quick study, especially after she falls for one too many of Mal's little tricks. Now that is different. In the films, Mal and Evie are like BFFs and super close. So it looks like they're not super close, or at least they don't start off that way in the books. Interesting. I did not know that. Then we have Jay, son of Jafar. As the son of Jafar, Jay is a boy of many talents, stealing and lying, to name a couple. Jay and Mal have been frenemies forever, and he's not about to miss out on the quest for the dragon's eye. Jay, I love Jay in the film. Like Jay and Harry Hook are my favorites in the films. So I hope I hope that that maintains in in the books. I just I love them in the films. I just I want to love them in the books. We're going we're going in hoping we're going we're I'm going in loving them. It's, that's just it. I'm gonna go in. I don't care. I love them. Anyway, okay, back to the Carlos last one, son of Corolla Deville. Corolla Deville's son may not be the bravest, but he's certainly clever. Carlos's inventions may just be may be just what they need to end their banishment for good. So the books will, I assume, bring them together, make them friends, because it doesn't sound like any of them are actually all that close except for Mal and Jay, but they have a frenemy status, so they're, I don't know how close that they are. I don't, I'll find out. I'll find out. So yeah, um, this doesn't have anything to do with Oridon yet, but Oridon would be where the heroes and their children live, the, the kingdom or whatever, where I believe Beast and, and Belle are ruling over. And eventually, uh, if the movies track with the books, um, Mal, Evie, Jay, and Carlos will go to Oridon to ad attend Oridon Prep, which is the, the school where the hero children go, and um, the story will continue from there. Uh, but for now, it looks like it's going to take, this book at least takes place just on the aisle, and uh, something that the movies didn't talk about was that they have their own school, uh, Dragon Hall. So that, that's going to be new for me, uh, but yeah. So essentially this book will, the series will follow the children of the protagonists and antagonists of the Disney films. Um, we don't start out meeting all of them, obviously, and I don't know who all is actually included in the books, but we will get more hero children probably in, in the next one. But yeah. I, I'm definitely looking forward to this series. I did love the films, so I'm sure I will still love the books. Also, fun fact, I'm a sucker for shiny things in my book covers. It's not the cover, but it's an inside cover, and it's shiny, and I love it. And it says, evil tree, bad apple, question <laughs> mark. The final book on my TBR, I, I am keeping March's TBR a little short. It's my birthday month and I have a couple other bigger video projects planned. So yeah, shorter TBR. But the last one, also shiny cover, just, just look at it, uh, is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and uh, Sarah Rees Brennan and Maureen Johnson. She collaborates, and I think all of her books, and I, I'm not entirely certain why, uh, but yeah. So this is also a Shadowhunters novel. Like, I guess it'd be more of a companion novel, uh, but The Bane Chronicles, as the name would suggest, is just centered around Magnus. It is stories of his long warlock life. I don't know how far back it goes, but 
essentially this is just a book of stories of Magnus's life and Magnus Bane is my favorite character that I know of like I've only watched the show and read uh, the Eldest Curses series which is only two books um, and is focused on Magnus and Alec but Magnus is my favorite in the show and he's my favorite out of the little mini series that I have read so far he is a warlock he is over 400 years old and he has a lot of stories that could be told and I guess there's a bunch of them told here and I'm very excited to read this book like I said I love Magnus and like it says who who isn't a fan of Magnus Bane Kirkus reviews that's a very good point who isn't a fan of him if you're not a fan of him how why tell me what 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 does there not to love about him but yeah I'm probably most looking forward to the Bane Chronicles even though I do love the Descendants movies and I'm I was really excited to learn that they were books first and I need to read them like yesterday but yeah I, I while I am looking forward to this my shadow hunters upset my shadow hunters obsession is still strong and it is still at the forefront of my brain so I am still more excited about the Bane Chronicles and reading about Magnus's fantastical life and like I said, so Magnus is a like 400 plus year old warlock, so I don't know how far back into his life this will go. I'm hoping pretty far back, uh, but it also goes as far, you know, forward as like his first date with Alec, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to because I really loved their first date and their relationship in the TV show. So I am curious to how it, it went in, in the books because I, I know it's different and I don't know exactly how it happened in like I mean I know the gist of how it happened in the books I did read some spoilers obviously I love I love spoilers uh but yeah it's gonna be fun to read about it and it's gonna probably be from Magnus's perspective because it's it's his life stories so you get to see it from Magnus's point of view and I just I'm I'm all I'm all up about this so yeah this is the one I am looking most forward to maybe for my wrap-up I will even jump into my Magnus cosplay to talk about this one I don't know that could be a thing I want I, I want to do uh, but yeah Bane Chronicles so yeah this is my March TBR uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are reading for March or if you've read any of these books or series and what you thought or if you just I will say this in any video that has a Shadowhunters book if you want to just talk about Shadowhunters I am totally down with that too or if you want to talk Descendants because I have watched the films and if you've watched the films and read the books or whatever either one and you want to just talk about Descendants also cool but yeah that is all I have for you guys today, and I will see you guys next time.